In this video I will show you how I take a straight out of camera raw photo like this one to an edit like this with Adobe Lightroom. Let's go! If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell in order to be notified whenever there's a new video. Since becoming a full-time photographer in 2017, editing images has become one of my most frequent tasks in my day-to-day -day business. By showing you my editing process, I want to share some of the key points I look for while editing my photos. Keep in mind that photography, just like any other art, is very subjective and hence these edits are just my personal style and my personal taste. So let me show you how I edit photos in Lightroom. Um, Lightroom is pretty much capable of managing the whole workflow with photography. So you can import your photos straight from the card to your computer and let Lightroom manage all the file handling stuff. But I don't really like that because I like to um, manage my files myself. So um, I don't import the files into Lightroom. I have them separately organized on my hard drive. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna um, use some pictures I already prepared for this tutorial. Um, I don't want to go into deeper on how I manage my files in this video. If you want me to make a video on this topic, let me know in the comments below. So I've prepared some images here that I want to show and pick one to edit in this video. So those are some pictures I took out in the landscape of one of my last vacations. And I think we're going to go with this picture right here. Um, Usually, usually when I have a bunch of pictures that are not pre-selected like these ones, um, I go through all the pictures and um, select those that I want and mark them with stars. You can rate the images in Lightroom um, just by hitting the numbers on your numpad or on your keyboard. I go through the images two times. First I pick all the things, uh, all the pictures I might want to edit further and rate them with a three and then I go over them once more and rate the ones I really want to edit with a 5. So those are pre-selected so we don't need to do this here. I'm just going to start editing um, this picture right here. So from the library tab up here I'm going to go one further to the develop tab and start with my editing. Basically Lightroom has this top to bottom workflow so you're going to start with the basic adjustments. Um, I do like to use those profiles for a little more stylized look. Um, I'm gonna go with the, let's just see what looks good. Um, I do like this modern eight on this picture, so I'm gonna pick this one and close the profile browser. Um, next, I'm gonna have a look at the picture and see um, if the white balance is off. I think this works pretty well since the white balance in the camera has been set to auto, so um, this should be pretty much fine. Um, we're gonna continue with adjusting the exposure a little bit up, maybe just 0.3 um, up. Um, bringing the contrast a little bit up, maybe to like, don't go overboard, maybe like 15. Um, since the clouds are pretty much burned out, I wanna um, lower the highlights as much as it's needed to get back some details. So I'm gonna go all the way down with the highlights and as you can see, um, the clouds start to look a little more fluffy again. Down here the shadows are a little bit too low, I think they could be a little bit lifted, maybe just a tiny little bit. Um, and the whites and blacks should be fine for me. Um, I do like to add some clarity, um, don't go overboard with this as well, so if you go all the way it looks pretty stylized, I don't like that. Uh, maybe we're going to like 5 or 7 here to add a little bit crisp into the image. Um, um, the dehaze. I do use the dehaze only um, par partially in the image, so this image actually could need some or could use some dehazing since it actually has been some haze in there, um, but I'm gonna use this with a local adjustment layer later. So this should be fine for now. Uh, what I do like to do is add a little bit of drama by uh, lowering the, the curve a little bit. So what I wanna do is raise the, the blacks down here and then um, crush the curve a little bit so it doesn't go straight up. I like to go maybe like this. Um, I really like this look a lot because it looks like a little bit washed out of film um, that you don't get in digital as much. Um, next we're going to go into the magic tab where 
the uh, hue, saturation and luminance are being adjusted. Um, in this picture I really want to adjust a little bit of um, the blues and maybe the greens. Um, so we're going to start with the hue, maybe um, change the, the yellow also because um, because of the profile we picked, the yellow is a little bit um, too harsh, so I'm gonna um, maybe go here a little bit more on the green side, so the grass is a little more green, and then we're gonna go a little bit down with the green, so we have a little bit more of a natural look in here. Uh, next, what I wanna do is um, raise the saturation a little bit. So uh, as I said, I wanted it to be a little more green. So maybe add a little bit of saturation here. And also um, this guy could be a little bit more blue to me. So I'm gonna raise the saturation here as well. Um, next, what I wanna do is skip those tabs since I don't see any use in them in here, in this picture. I'm gonna activate the profile corrections. As you see, the distortion, distortion is being um, compensated and also the image gets a little bit brighter since the vignetting is being um, corrected. I also do like to add a little bit of vignetting afterwards, so I'm gonna go in here and um, lower the vignetting to maybe like 15 to, or maybe 25, I don't know, to emphasize the, the view into the landscape a little bit more. So as I said, I would also add a little um, drama and dehaze to the picture. Um, therefore, I'm gonna go into the local adjustments. I'm gonna pick a radial filter here and dehaze the middle of this picture. Um, so here are some things preset that I don't need. Um, also, I need to invert this to um, work inside. And then we're gonna dehaze the middle a little bit here. And as the dehaze usually adds a little bit blue, I like to um, raise the temperature in the areas that I dehaze a little and also maybe raise the exposure a little bit. Uh, what I also like to do is uh, add a little bit more drama to the clouds by adding a, um, a gradient filter. Um, so I'm gonna go over here and pull this all the way down to the horizon and then add some mood to the clouds by um, lowering the exposure, um, giving it a little bit more contrast and maybe a little bit clarity. That was way too much. Um, and yeah, we're good to go. So I'm pretty happy with this picture right now. Um, what I would do next is um, choose if I want to publish it like this or maybe put it to Instagram if I wanted to put it to Instagram. I would crop it to a four by five ratio since that's the maximum aspect ratio that's possible there. Um, maybe I'm gonna go with something like this and then just go to the export tab and export it as a final file. So that's my Lightroom workflow. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and ring the bell in order to be notified every week when there's a new video coming up. If you want to do photography more as a professional business and not only as a hobby, then make sure to check out my upcoming video on creating a portfolio website for your photo business coming up next week. I already did a video on this topic two or three years ago and this is the updated version for 2021 and 2022. Thanks so much for watching and see you there.